It's called a polygraph. Some people call it a lie detector, but one former police officer says it's a waste of tax dollars and relying on it is putting the country at risk. I knew it really, really, really wasn't a lie detector, but I knew it was really, really good at getting into a, a confession. Doug Williams was the man who administered polygraphs for the Oklahoma City Police Department, but for the last 40 years, he's worked to outlaw them. Second thing that really made me say, this thing is just a sick joke. I figured out how to control every tracing on the chart. Williams wrote the book From Cop to Crusader, his work helped eliminate mandatory polygraphs for employment at private companies. I have one thing on my bucket list, and that is to destroy this industry, this insidious Orwellian instrument of torture, to make everybody quit using it. The polygraph is still used by law enforcement and as a condition of employment for top secret clearance jobs. The federal government alone is so invested in this, they spend $150 million dollars a year on the various polygraph programs for the various federal agencies that run polygraphs. William says polygraphs often only succeed in branding truthful people liars by making them nervous and work as a way to get around discrimination laws. He teaches people how to successfully pass the polygraph. Basic biofeedback maneuvers. In other words, just calm yourself down on the relevant questions and think of something frightening on the control questions. It's my belief when you try to manage one, the others are exacerbated. They're made even more uh, emblematic. Bill Brown is a retired FBI agent who spent 10 years running polygraphs and now offers private polygraph exams. If you know what you're doing and you have the proper equipment uh, and uh, you understand what polygraph is, it's extremely reliable. Brown and Williams agree the polygraph measures the flight or fight response by recording blood pressure, skin response, and breathing. But Brown says those automatic responses cannot be controlled. When your mouth says something, your mind knows it's not so. Your mind, whoop, whoop, whoop. It has to acknowledge that that's not so. Now, in Oklahoma, courts have ruled the polygraph isn't reliable enough to be used as evidence during trials. So should teaching how to pass it be a problem? Well, up front at 9.30 tonight, a federal investigation has targeted Doug Williams' work and why his methods are being questioned in the wake of recent massive national security leaks. Reporting in the studio, Phil Cross, Fox 25 News. The polygraph was in it, invented nearly 100 years ago, and since its inception, nearly nothing has changed about the technology. So why then would we trust the test to keep our security secrets secret? We lay it on the beach. Think about having a car wreck. Think about laying on the beach. That's a technique Doug Williams teaches that promises to let you pass a polygraph with flying colors. It's a joke to call it a lie detector, and it's foolish and dangerous for the government and the criminal justice system to rely on it for anything. Williams says the federal government alone spends $150 million on polygraph screenings for people working with classified information but point to the recent cases of Bradley Manning and Edward Snowden as proof the polygraph is far from a foolproof way to stop intelligence leaks. Absolutely. Get off your ass and go investigate. Do a background investigation. Do like they used to do before they got lazy and relied on this damn thing. According to McClatchy newspapers, Williams and another anti-polygraph crusader are under federal investigation for their role in teaching techniques to pass the so-called lie detector. I do not and will not knowingly assist anyone to lie or train anyone to lie. But by far the majority of people who are called liars are innocent, truthful people that are falsely branded as liars simply because they're nervous. You have to know that someone is going to take a test, that they're going to take a test in a certain way, uh, and that they're not telling the truth. Fox 25 legal, an legal analyst David Slain says Williams' books and classes are technically protected speech, but... They may find some individuals out there that actually come forward and say, yes, I lied, and they taught me how to lie. Williams says he refuses to teach people who tell him they want to lie, and won't stop working to end the use of the machine he believes is based on faulty science. They will take shots at me. They will try everything they can to, to stop me. They will, they will bring the full force of the government down upon me to try to stop me, but they won't debate me.
Now, earlier in tonight's newscast, we did include interviews with a former FBI polygraph examiner who says the mean machine is accurate and a good tool for investigators. To watch both stories again and for more information, visit our website, okcfox.com. Reporting in the studio, Phil Cross, Fox 25 News.